Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, my dear friends. Bless you. Thank you so much for your prayers. Just a reminder, if you need prayer, send, I have another prayer card here. We've always got a long list of prayers, which is good. We're about praying on this channel and we're the remnant. We need to pray for our brothers and sisters in the Lord. So go ahead and send your first name and your need. I'll never embarrass anybody. Amen. And we will pray for you. My partner and I pray once a week. Amen. So I wanted to thank you uh, for your donations this month. I've received a couple and the super thanks. And that's in the comments by the three dots. If you click those three dots, I don't put any ads in the middle of these uh, uh, words. I don't want to stop the flow of the spirit. So I lose revenue there. I don't have a membership, although I've been praying about that. You know, I'm just putting in so many hours and, and, um, well, that's what I'll say. I'm just praying about that. Perhaps, you know, that's coming in the future. I just, I don't want to do that, but, um, I'm working very hard. Amen. So anyway, I did want to thank you for sending in your addresses and some stamps. I appreciate it so very much. Um, the important thing is get your addresses in because you know I tell you each and every time you're tired of hearing it but we do have new visitors so I believe with all my heart the church will be taken from this platform uh, I believe we will see it before the rapture so I would be doing a mail ministry and you can also send cash donations just the first time around and then I'll go ahead and send you all my information. I've not had one not arrive. You folks tell me and you ask me and um, you're getting my responses. I'm writing letters each and every week. The ministry is really growing and I think it's a good outlet for many of you. You're able to share more. Um, I'm able to encourage you. I hope I encourage you. And so it's just a, right now it's a wonderful, you know, parallel ministry on the channel. And then as you donate that first time, I will send you a free gift, coffee, Kona coffee, or some Hawaiian teas. You know, I want to call that the circle of blessing and bless you in return. Also next month, we will be giving away in May, another one of our devotion books and some Kona coffee. We gave out three giveaways at the circle of blessing uh, drawing mid month. So we'll do that again. I had a lot of fun doing that. Kind of anxious to hear. Uh, I just sent it last week. So I'm kind of anxious to hear how you folks, uh, you know, you received your coffee, your, your, devotion book you know uh it just brings me pleasure to bless you in return and just please do not send any uh checks in remnant connection i sometimes i forget to say that but i've had to return a couple checks because i don't have you know a business account so cash the first time out stamps are greatly appreciated and then you'll have all my information and you can write checks you know in the in the future amen so bless you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your giving. I appreciate every dollar. I live very, very frugally. Uh, I have a very limited income. So God is good to me. I'm trusting in him just as you are. Amen. So today's word, uh, what are my intentions? What are my intentions? And really, folks, without the Holy Spirit, we wouldn't know our motives or our intentions. We are such feel flesh fleshly human beings amen and since the fall our motives and our intentions have to be revealed to us amen uh by the holy spirit we we know this we know that we are sinners saved only by grace and the blood of the lamb so i'm going to read to you out of proverbs 16 and i'll read one through nine today and uh, the plan of the heart belongs to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of man are clean in his own sight, but the Lord weighs the motives. Let me read that again. That's verse two. All the ways of man are clean in his own sight, but the Lord weighs his motives. Such an important word. Uh, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. The Lord has everything for his purpose, even the 
wicked for the, uh, the day of evil. Everyone who is proud of heart is an abomination to the Lord. Assuredly, he will not be unpunished. Verse 6, by loving kindness and truth and iniquity is atoned for. And by the fear of the Lord, one who keeps away from evil, praise God. When the man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he makes his enemies be at peace with him. Amen. God will take care of all of our difficulties, all of our hard relationships. We need to keep our intentions and our motives in check under the blood and by the Holy Spirit, open to his correction. Amen. Verse 8. Better is the little with better is a little with righteousness than a great income with injustice. Important. Amen. The mind of the man plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. Let me read that again. That's beautiful. The mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your word, Lord God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you live within us to keep our motives and our intentions in check. We are fall short of the glory of the Lord each and every day. And we need you, Spirit. We need you. We need you to teach us, to instruct us, and to reveal our fleshly ways. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What are my intentions? My precious Savior and love, hold me close and never let me go. How much longer, my love, how much longer? Out of my mouth, my lips speak. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory to God. Yet deep down, what are my intentions? What are my intentions? My love, so often my flesh is at war with your perfect will. I better read that one again. That bore witness to me. My love, so often my flesh is at war with your perfect will. I hear your voice. I know the way and I know your will. Yet, what? are my intentions. Will I obey or will I fail you once again, my love? I know I hear your voice uh, this early morn. I feel the pull of your spirit. Oh, my love, I struggle so. Why do I falter so? My desire to serve and give all to you, yet I fail you so often. It is though I have been uh, caught and caged by the enemy of this world, the trap that so often grips me so tightly. I wake early and lift up holy hands, and you are there, glory. Yet down deep, I know my attentions are always otherwise. This really speaks to all of us. This is what's going on inside of us, isn't it? When God says, you go here, you do this. And, you know, we have other other intentions. Amen. Such an important word. Because this is a, this is a struggle in everybody's flesh. Amen. And if you think not, then maybe you need to go seek the Lord. We will all struggle with God's will in our intentions. Amen. That's just what Proverbs said. Amen. Oh, my love, this is the day, this is the day. I know, my love, the day is late. I know as my day goes again and again, I fall to the trap of the enemy. I wake up early, I lift up holy hands and give glory to my Savior. Yet what are my intentions? What are my intentions? When he said, you will do this, you go there, You, my will is this, will we obey? What are our intentions in this? Amen. Will I truly give all I have to my God and Savior? Will I truly give all of this world and its treasures above all my God and Savior? Even now, my love, these words are penetrating deep within my soul. Are these just words coming from my mouth, my Lord? What are my intentions? What are my motives, my most high? Words may fool men, and man may be drawn to you for a time, but the mighty God of the universe knows the motives and intentions. Glory to the Lamb. Just my, uh, just as my little love, God knows the heart of each man. So now, my people, humble yourselves often before me. Your answers and solutions will not come through men, even well-meaning men. 
man, we can't go to a preacher. We can't, we can't go here or there. We can't listen to the wise man. We have to know the will through, through our communication, through our prayers by the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's how our motives and intentions are checked. One woman, one man, one God. Amen. Your answers and solutions come when knees are bended before the mighty God. Oh, Lord, come uh, take away what is not right and good within each man. Only God can know the intentions and motives within the heart of each man. How can one judge God's perfect will for oneself when it is only God that understands the intentions and motives of each child. That's important. I'll read that again. How can one judge God's perfect will for oneself when it is only that God understands the intentions and motives of each child? It's only him. Only he can reveal this. No preacher, no book, no well-meaning man. Only God, only the Holy Spirit in our life. So, my love, give up all to me. Empty uh, empty all of this world within you. Place your, uh, place your constant care and concern within my hands. Fight me no more, my little one. Even this moment you are touched with my truth. You know your motives and intentions have not lined up according to my will. This is my spirit moving within you, my little love. I see all. I understand all. Even what you have been able to understand, to, unable to see this day. I love you as no other. I will protect you from yourself. I will protect you from yourself. The flesh will continue to fall short until the very end, my love. My spirit searches the heart, a heart which is constantly hard until the day you leave this earth, my love. So my love, hear me today. Trust me with all your intentions and motives. I will always reveal truth to you if only you are willing. If only you tarry before me and if only you trust me for all of time, glory to the Lamb. So you see, my love, even this moment you have recognized me in this. Your motives and tensions have been exposed, laid open before you. Uh, you have been... Uh, you have been willing. You understand. You will move forward again in my perfect will. You are forgiven, cleansed, and healed of what held you back for a time. Glory. These are my ways. This is my voice. I come to speak. I reveal, and I forgive, and I love you as no other, for the path of head is ahead is now clear and uninstructed glory to the lamb of the throne i guess i should qualify this as a word of knowledge this is really directed at uh some of you uh right now we all need to hear this we all need to check our motives and our intentions daily really leave them at the altar let god reveal all truths so i'm going to be quiet and i've spoken a lot in this word i'm going to be quiet and I'm getting in touch with it, too. That's why I speak during these words sometimes, because God is showing me what I'm speaking out. Amen. So I'm going to read the second reading, Proverbs 16, 1 through 9. What are my intentions? My precious Savior and love, hold me close and never let me go. How much longer, my love, how much longer? Out of my mouth, my lips speak. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yet deep down, what are my intentions? What are my intentions? My love, so often my flesh is at war with your perfect will. I hear your voice. I know the way and I know your will. Yet, what are my intentions? Will I obey or will I fail you once again? I know I hear your voice this early morn. I feel the pull of your spirit. Oh, my love, I struggle so. Why do I falter so? My desire to serve and give all to you, yet I fall so often now. It is as though I have been caught and caged by the enemy of this world, the trap that often grips me tightly. I awake early, I lift up holy hands, and you are there. Yet down deep, I know my intentions are always otherwise. Oh, my love, this is the day. This is the day. I know, my love, the day is late. I know as my day goes again and again, I will fall to the trap of the enemy. I wake up early. I lift up holy hands and give glory to the Savior. Yet, what are my intentions? What are my intentions? Will I truly give all I have to my God and Savior? Will I truly give all of this world and all of its treasures over to my God and Savior? Even now, my love, these words are 
penetrating uh, within my soul. These are just words coming from my, are these just words coming from my mouth, dear Lord? What are my intentions? What are my motives, my most high? Words of words may fool men. Men may be drawn to you for a time, but the mighty God of the universe knows the motives and intentions. Glory to the Lamb. Just as my little loves, God knows the heart of each man. So now, my people, humble yourselves before me. Your answers and solutions will not come through men, even well-meaning men. Your answers and solutions come on bended knees, uh, before a mighty God. Only God can take away what is not right and good within each man. Only God can know the intentions and motives within the heart of each man. How can one judge God's perfect will for oneself when it is only God that understands the intentions and motives of each child? So my love, give all to me, empty uh, yourselves of the world within you. Place your constant care and concern within my hands. Bite me no more, my little lamb. Even this moment you are touched by my truth. You know your motives and intentions have not lined up according to my will. This is my spirit moving within you, my little love. I see all I understand. Even what you have been unable to see this day, I love you as no other. I will protect you from yourself. The flesh will continue to fall short until the very end, my love. My spirit searches the heart, a heart which is constantly hard until the day you leave this earth my love so my love hear me today trust me with your intentions and motives i will always reveal truth to you if only you are willing if only you tarry before me and if only you trust me with uh, with your all in all for all of time. So you see, my love, even this moment, you have recognized me in this, your motives, intentions, uh, and intentions have been exposed and laid out before you. You have been willing, uh, and now you understand you will move forward again in my most perfect will. You are forgiven, cleansed, and healed of what has held you back for a time. These are my ways. This is my voice. I come, I speak, I reveal, and then I forgive, and I love you as no other. The path ahead is clear and unobstructed. Glory to the Lamb upon the throne. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. A word for all of us, Lord. A word that we need to be careful. A word of caution, Lord God. Because, Lord, we live in these fleshly bodies, Lord God. Our motives and intentions need to be weighed at your altar, Lord God. Oh, we are such fleshly human beings. And yet, your blood shed, your forgiveness, your grace, your mercy, that we might dust off our knees, Lord God, and once again move forward, Lord God, in the purpose and the will for our lives this day in Jesus' name. This day, Lord God, this day where you have spoken to some, Lord God, you will lift them up, you will reveal and lay before them their motives and their intentions that they might walk again in your peace and your comfort and your anointing. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be with each one today, the blood covering, Lord, all wisdom, all discernment, Lord God, be theirs, Lord God, fill them to overflowing, see to their every need, Lord God, every dollar in their pocket, may it be multiplied a hundred times, Lord God, their pantries be full, their loved ones be saved and, and, and be drawn to you, Lord God, even this day, that they might be able to lift up holy hands in thankfulness that their loved one has heard your voice because that's who you are. That's how mighty you are. And we stand upon the rock of our salvation. Minister to your people. Comfort your people, Lord God. And for all of us, Lord, let lay before us our motives and our intentions that we might be uh, made according to your will. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you. God be with you. Leave your comments. Please remember your thumbs up. And God be with you and keep you safe today under his blood. God bless.